learning his fate, sitting stone-faced in court, a Warren man sentenced for killing the two people who helped raise him. That tops our news here at 5.30. During today's sentencing, the judge tried to puncture Joseph Borowiak's cold facade, finding minimal success. The 38-year-old was convicted of two counts of first-degree murder at his trial last month. He attacked his aunt and uncle while they were sleeping with a hatchet in the middle of the night. Priya Mann was in the courtroom, and Priya, he is going away for life. Yeah, that's right. The jury also noted he is mentally ill. Now, this is a man who killed his aunt and uncle. The people who took him into their home raised him like their own. Now, today in court, we did hear from the victim's daughter and granddaughter. They did not want to be identified. You'll hear from the victim's granddaughter first. It would mean a lot to us. We never had to see him again. Joseph Boriak showed little emotion as his relatives pleaded for a life sentence. Last year, the Warren man bludgeoned his aunt and uncle to death in their sleep. This horrific, tragic event that happened to our family is just very unbelievable to us. And every day we wake up and have to face the reality over and over again. Police say both victims had severe head trauma. 67-year-old Stephen and 66-year-old Cynthia Collins were found in separate rooms. Acknowledging this was a tragedy for everyone, the defense maintained Boriak is mentally ill. Uh, the problem, obviously, is the jury did not feel he was sufficiently mentally ill to find him not guilty by reason of insanity. Do you understand right now that your aunt and uncle were just a loving couple? Yes, sir. You do? They weren't demons. They weren't Satan. You understand that now? Yes. You do? And it's probably just as well that you're not out of society. Isn't that correct? Yes, sir. I would just like to point out that I think we do a lousy job dealing with the mentally ill in this country. Thank you, Your Honor. Boriak was arrested after someone spotted him in Detroit hours after the couple's bodies were discovered. He does not belong in society. He's done <coughs> things in the past, and he's a danger to society. Now, his lawyers argued he's mentally ill and that prison was not the answer. The victim's family members say he has prior convictions and knew what he was doing. It took the jury 12 hours to convict. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Priya.